Let's get right into it. That's Bartek. This is me. And we have the cameraman as well as Shore. On our way to Krobanosh in southeastern Poland. As I search for my roots and the home of my grandfather and great-grandfather. Yeah, you can speak also. Okay, cool. So this is the book that is my uh, guide to learning more about his life. And he's, you know, signed it for me before he died. And then um, it traces his life from Poland to Eastern Europe and Russia and then back up again. So I'm very excited that we're going there now. And that's why I misspelled it initially because it's spelled incorrectly with the SH instead of the CZ. And there's no A in it either. It's an O. So I've learned a lot already on this trip. <laughs> This is what's helped me get there. And then this is his father, who was the minister at the church in Krobanosh, that hopefully we'll find, but I have no idea what we'll find. So I'm just happy to be on this trip. Thankful to be here. My name is Miles Bonney, and um, my father, Francis Bonney, raised me um, on the East Coast of the United States. I was born in New York City. And when I look back on his father, whose name was Oscar, uh, I learned through time that his real last name should have been Bonikowski because that's what his name was before he came to America. And then upon entering the States, he changed it. I guess he made that decision to Bonnie, which he pretty much made up. And um, I guess as I've grown older and learned more about um, my family's history I also have a lot of questions and the one time I was here in Poland previously doing a show in Warsaw or Warsaw to those in America who don't know how to say it correctly like myself um, I just realized I wanted to spend more time here and when the opportunity came to come to Lublin and uh, hang out with Bartek and everybody else here at Agata and thanks to everybody that brought me here um, I couldn't turn down the opportunity to spend the month and one of my things I really wanted to do while I was here was to learn more about my grandfather and my great-grandfather's area of Poland where they lived and um, it just so happened that this town of Krobanosz, which I hope I'm saying correctly I'm not really sure is only about an hour away from where Lublin is where this creative residency that brought me here uh, is situated in the southeastern part of Poland so the fact that I'm here and on this day and close to the end of my trip before I come back to America and have the opportunity to visit this town is something I'm very appreciative of and grateful for and I I'd like to try to aim to find this church where my great-grandfather was a minister because I don't have a whole lot of other things that I think would still be around to to focus on as far as our trip to this town but whatever I find will be great and I'll just be happy to be in the same place where my grand grandfather lived and my grandfather and um, some of my family's history outside of America because being an American or you know whatever that means I don't I don't really know what that means I guess for me and so I think in some ways I've been seeking my own family history you know outside of America to learn more about that and this is a huge part of that process and um, hopefully after today I'll move forward and maybe visit some other places where my family have been elsewhere in the world, but um, I'm just very appreciative to see what happens when we get there. And just only, I guess my only expectation is I'll get out of the car and start walking around and feel it out as we go. And I did bring his ring, but that was from Kansas City. He didn't have this when he was five and left Poland, so. This is Bartek, Mr. Papazura. Life on Mars. Many thanks to him with the beautiful music, a musician and DJ, and an amazing tour guide and friend through this journey. So as you can see, there is the first time I saw the Krobanosh sign, which is very exciting because as you can tell from earlier on, I really had no idea what to expect. So to even get close to this destination in the middle of the earth, somewhere I've never been close to before in my life was pretty unreal and then the search was on where did they live? Mm, 
Rückgang des Fields. I was just so excited to be there and it's even cooler that Bartek thought enough to come up with a theme song for our arrival. As we entered Krobanosh, once again, I had no idea where to go. So all I could do was soak in the landscape around me, try to feel the vibe of the area, and try to attempt to get any glimpse of understanding of what I was surrounded by. Yeah, look. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's wild. It is wild. Man. And some of this is cold enough that's what it is. Yeah, some of it does look cold enough. It's hard because I never had any photos of anything. Yeah. So I have to just absorb whatever we see. Nice, it's got a good feel. Yeah. I think your dad would like it. My dad would love this. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of where he lives. It does remind a lot of where my dad lives right now. Yeah. One of the first buildings we saw was this one that sparked a curiosity. I wasn't sure if that's uh, any connection to my family's history, but I thought we'd get out and look around. It was a good way to get introduced to get my feet on the ground. of where I live and where my dad lives, man. Because this looks more like where he lives, but it feels like my land, but a lot more. There's a lot more moisture here than where I live on the ground. Beautiful. I go. Yeah. Because before this, uh, this house, that my, my my father built, mm -hmm. there was something like like this. Yeah, like this. <laughs> No, this is great. I love this. It makes me feel better about my home now. <laughs> it's beautiful. Even that wood. I love that door right there. Oh, Lord. I'm scared. Having Bartek and our other guides as Polish speakers was amazingly valuable. Here, he learned that this might be the mayor's house of Krobanosz. And we hope to stop by and get some additional information about where to go next. There's the book. Ugh, nervous. Have you shown the book? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. So he, so can I tell the rest of the story real quick? Yeah. So basically, so not only did my grandfather and my great grandmother and great grandfather, and them all live here, but then in 1915 they were all sent out of the country because they spoke. German and the Russians and some of the Polish soldiers wanted all German speaking people from the village to leave so they sent them to Siberia and basically life just got worse after they left left here and then eventually made his way to other cities and uh, countries but um, it's very intimidating for me to be here because I don't really know as much as I'd like to know 
about a lot of things, here. but that's why we're here, yeah. That is but I'm why just, we're here. it's pretty amazing also to have you all with us to help ask questions and meet people that I wouldn't be able to communicate with by myself. But I also think about not only the rest of my family that have never been here, but all the other people that were sent from here because it was, you know, all like men and stuff, you know, probably lots of families were sent from here at the time. So it's something that I imagine really did affect this community at that time and, you know, a hundred years ago. So hope to learn all I can and just really grateful for whatever comes out of all of these steps. At the mayor's house right now, I guess. In the stuff is the mm, uh, stuff is on the road. Where, when, so where, when when we would back mm -hmm. uh, coming back, we can uh, ask okay. uh, the priest in in okay. staff's church. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So let's visit the guy with grandfather, with the oldest grandfather in Krobonosh. <laughs> no, grandfather. I wonder also, you know, if the, you know, maybe back then too, the boundaries of where town started and stopped was not as yeah, clear, you know? Uh -huh. <coughs> maybe. Well, and also, because he was Baptist, you know, who knows? There's a huge nest looking thing on the top of that. Who knows what? Now that we were near Krobonosh, landmarks we were looking for would include the church that they used to live in and where my great-grandfather was a minister. This one looked a little bit too new, so that combined with the fact that in the backyard there were some things that signals it might not have been a Baptist church could have suggested it wasn't connected to my family at all. But given that this is the only church people knew of, I thought we'd give it a shot anyway and look around. Looking for his church, who knows where it is. As it became increasingly clear that this was not my great-grandfather's church, I explored a bit more, and soon we were off to the next stop, visiting the home of the oldest woman in Krobanosh. Her family was very nice to let us visit there, and even though I was there to ask questions about my family, I ended up learning a bit about hers as well. Hopefully this is the right place and they're willing to talk to us. Dzień dobry. Emil Bonikowski. Nie znam pani tak. Emil and Maria Bonikowski. What was Maria Zotsman? Zotsman. Nie znam pani. Nie znam. Nie, nie. Ja już. Też mam 88 lat. To co jest tysiąc lat, no, nie, ale no, to ja jest, ich nie wiem. Yy, no, oni są na pewno starsi, no bo to jest 1907 to zdjęcie. No ale może. No, może nie, ja, to to ja miałam brata w Ameryce, bo za niemieckich czasów, jak była wojna, pani rozumie po polsku, roboty w czasie wojny. 
No i po wojnie dostał się do Ameryki, do Nowego Jorku. No i przepadł, nie wiem, czy umarł, czy zabity, czy co. Nie wiem, nie ma wiadomości. No. Ja, ja myślałam, że może to według mego tego brata coś. A, jak A jakie nazwisko? nazwisko? Tywoniuk Tadeusz. Tywoniuk Tadeusz. Tak. Tywoniuk. A nie zmieniał nazwiska? Tak. Nie zmieniał nazwiska? Nie, nie. She had brother who emigrated to New York and, and he lost. I couldn't quite process that Bartek was saying that she was also looking for her brother. So, pig-headed, I kept asking my own questions, unfortunately. Is there any information known around, because in 1915, all of, all of the German-speaking uh, people were sent away from the village? I don't know if there's any... Poszukiwaliśmy jego do ambasady, do Warszawy, śmy pisali i wszystko przychodziło odmowne. <śmiech> że nie ma takiego, że w Ameryce to nie ma tak jak u nas w Polsce, że jak się mieszka to zameldowany. A tam, że nie ma tak, tak nam przychodziła odpowiedź. I nie so, wiem. She, she's been trying to find her, her oh, brother, brother for years, but, but, yeah, but with... Oni szukają impossible. swojej rodziny. Wow. A oni szukają swojej i, i właśnie Maj spytał, z, z pani wie coś o tych ludziach, którzy byli mniejszością niemieckojęzyczną? Bo jego rodzina mówiła, jego dziadek mówił po niemiecku, chociaż miał na nazwisko Bonikowski. Aha, A, powiedz, powiedz Głośniej pan powie, bo mama nie dosłyszy. Bo jego rodzina była stąd, ale tak. mówili po niemiecku wszyscy. Po niemiecku. po niemiecku. Ale tutaj w Krubonoszy mieszkali. W Krubonoszy. Tak, w Krubonoszy. No to kiedyś... The discussion then turned to last names that were common in the area. No one in my family's last name seemed to be something that came to mind. Miller. Zon tak, zaraz, 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 Miller Zon tak, Kublik, teraz, oj, zapomniałam już jak, zapomniałam. Ale Bonikowskich nie znała pani, nie, nie, ani, nie, panie, nie. ani tego niemieckiego, nie, nie, co nie, mówiłem. Nie, 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 tego nie słyszałam. I wonder if there would have been a church that was not Catholic ever in the area. Mm. You know, like a Baptist mm. or anything Właśnie, like that. Właśnie, bo jego dziadek był też pastorem, ale nie, nie i był pastorem prawosławnym, nie, nie prawo, y, Niemieckim? It was, yeah, it was a Christian, but not Baptist. Catholic. Maybe Baptist or Methodist? Yeah, we have to translate that. Yeah. To Baptist, to jaka to jest wiara niemiecka? No. Nie, nie. Baptist to nie niemiecka. Nie? Może i wolski by widzisz? Ale wolski to znaczy, no to gdzie mamy się... O to zaraz niedaleko. Ja wyjdę z państwem i pokażę, który to budynek. I pokażę Państwu, wiedziecie tam do innych, pod Dobra. sam y, dom. Także tam nie ma problemu. On więcej się zajmuje tak o, y, takimi wiadomościami, taką polityką, historią, to wszystko. Może on będzie wiedział najlepiej. On, pa, on Wam wytłumaczy. Yeah, there is, uh, there is one, one uh, more uh, old man okay. who, who maybe know, knows something. Right. Also, I'd like to try to uh, get her brother's name, so maybe I could try to look. A, America, właśnie. No, zapiszemy może nazwisko tego pani brata, którego pani szukała. Tywoniuk. Tywoniuk Tadeusz. To to me, to... Yeah. On z tego roku był. So after a period of time of not understanding exactly what was going on in front of me, but trying to do my best to soak it all in, I managed to gather the name of her relative, who I later realized had passed on while living in the United States years ago. But on we traveled, finding additional areas of land. This is one that I thought maybe where the old church that my great-grandfather was the minister of may have been. But all I could do was walk around and see what happened. Little did I know that soon after this, Shore would realize that right next to where we were, 
was the actual church itself, although now reduced to rubble. mic on I was, guess I was thinking that the the thing I'm learning from all this is not only that you know it's fun to explore your history but also that it's never ending because history goes back forever so even if my great grandfather's church was still here uh, you know there's things that were there before that and now that the church is gone there's things after that so I guess in a weird way looking back all my histories helped me realize that, uh, you know, things are always in the present to some extent, you know. But it's really amazing that we could even find close to where, you know, they might have lived. So in the meantime, I'm just trying to soak up everything I can before we keep moving along into the future. You put a lot of effort in all this stuff and I recommend that. I was so grateful to be there. So grateful to Bartek. Just beyond that fence, shore located a pile of rubble. The last remnants of my great grandfather's church and possibly house they lived in. They took the parts and put them over there. Kościół to nazywał się Albert. Nie, Emil. After spending some time soaking in the land where my grandfather and great grandfather and family lived, we traveled across the street where the community's oldest man lived to see if we could learn any more. To jest Emil Bonikowski ze swoją żoną z Krobonosza. Tak, tak. Ale on prowadził tutaj, to znaczy jako pastor, tak. ku naszemu to ksiądz, czy tam tak, proboszcz. Tak, para. tak, tak. Tylko, że tej niemieckiej. Niemiecki, tak. I oni po niemiecku mówią. No tak. I mieli syna Oto, a drugi Walty, którzy ze mną siedzieli w łapkach. Ale to, to. chyba pokolenie starsze, bo to, to jest 1907 chyba. Aha, to, Czyli to, to mogło być, e, e, tak, mogło być się, tego pastora dziadkowie, mogło być. Może. Jak siódmego być. A nazwisko pamięta pan tego pastora? Nie. Ja wiem, że Albert to ich tych moich kolegów, którzy ze mną uczęszczali do tej miejscowej szkoły, to się nazywał Albert. He knows he, he knew one uh, one mayor uh, one minister of uh, German church okay. from here, but it's one gener generation later. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I name was Albert. Albert. Oh. Albert. Yeah, that's my that's my father's two. middle name. But Your father's? Yeah, they named him Albert. That's my, but it's okay. It's coincidence. Albert, Albert, Albert. A to już chyba sprawdzaliśmy i tam nie było nikogo. Aha, po tamtej ulicy. Tak, za tamtej ulicy tam? A to nie, to byliśmy po, po drugiej stronie. A to... tu? A tam jak ten nie, samochód byli, jedzie, to tak prosto. Tutaj. Nie tak, tylko tak, za tam budynkiem tym. Yy, Można jeszcze tam. Jeszcze tam ona jest taka tak. oczytana i taka yy, historyczna, także może. No właśnie tam, tam też tam prawa nie powiedziała, że pan będzie taki, że Aha. pan wie no, wszystko o historii no, tutaj. Ja. Can, could we ask if the, if the new building was built on top? A, a jeszcze chcieliśmy zapytać tylko, czy ten, e, tam gdzie był kościół ten niemiecki, tak. to jest teraz e, ta dom straż strażaka. Tak, tak, dom strażaka. Dom strażaka był bardzo długo i jeszcze widnił przy wejściu to krzyżyk, tak? Krzyżyk polski. Tak, ale on został co, kompletnie z... o, rozebrany. On nie jest spalony, nie, nie tylko. I, I to jest... E, to jest dokładnie w tym samym miejscu z tego budynku, Dokładnie czy obok? w tym samym miejscu. Dokładnie w tym dokładnie, samym Dokładnie, tak. Może, może tylko uschylony jest tam parę metrów. Aha. So may, maybe a few meters. Parę metrów. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ja mogę ukreślić wszystko do, do 
Tomek na Giełd stał i jak najbardziej. To już tam byliśmy, już tam nie wracamy, już skręciliśmy. Tak? Ale... A je tak. ładnie pan po polsku mówi. Bo ja jestem z Polski, ja, e, e, oni są z Ameryki, a ja ich tylko goszczę i kręcimy tutaj i dokument o tym. Bardzo dobrze, bardzo mi miło. To ja i jeszcze dwie koleżanki, u których byłyście e, państwo, bo ona przydzwoniła do mnie, uprzedziła mnie. I jeszcze jest jedna, która tutaj to moja synowa mówi, ale ona tak dali, ona też jest e, chora, nie chodzi, słabo, tak jak i ta. Ja Aha. tylko no, jeden z tych trzech. To ja jeden jeszcze chodzę. My w równym wieku jesteśmy. 30 rocznik, 1930 rocznik. A ten jeszcze chciałem dodać. Who, who was born in 1930? Okay. Yeah, so it's yeah. one, yeah, one, yeah, one generation, generation, generation later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tak, to ja jeden. A, a on jest... poszukuje swojej rodziny, która jest jakby z pokolenia pana rodziców jeszcze. Aha, z pokolenia. Moich rodziców. Ale yy, w sensie takim, czy, czy jakaś rodzina yy, może istnieje? Hmm? Znaczy rodzina w tym pokoleniu, tak? Tak. To znaczy w pokoleniu moich rodziców. Nie, nie. Jego dziadek, który stąd wyjechał. No. Osta ostatni jego potomek był z pokolenia pana Kapitanu rodziców. Kapitanu może. A. Tutaj okay. W 25. już zesłany na Ukrainę. A w 25, tak, 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 tak. Ten sam, tak? Z nie... Tak. Ta, ta sama osoba. Nie, to jest jego, jego syn, bo to jest jego, je, jego syn już na Ukrainie. Aha, na Ukrainie, w 25. W 25. No, czyli już dalej już nie ma. Jakby ta historia Skrobrosza jest starsza niż. Starsza. Li, tak. Niż y, ludzi my e, świadkowie e, Tak. Oczywiście, tak. No trudno. U 20, jakieś 30 lat za późno się przewizytowali. Tak. Yeah. We were to late from 20, 30 years. Yeah, it's okay. It's, okay. it's, my, it's, my, it's other people's fault. No. It's all right. Dziękuję. Dziękuję. So Jeszcze raz. Dziękuję. Zdrowia i... Dziękuję. Zdrowia życzymy. Churchyard, your family's there. A little boy who so will fear. The orders came on Sunday service. As people cried, everyone was nervous. You were sent to a foreign land, decided by some powerful man. You chased the trains, you ran and hide. Maintained your faith while many others died. Siberia must have been so cold From Grobanash only five years old A hundred years ago And since that time You've managed to cross many other borderlines Your son grew up to be my dad What a many years because of you I have the courage to persevere And Father, I wish you were near Thank you, Oscar.